Welcome back to Night of the Dead. It is day 40. And if you look down at my belt and number six, I have a cantana. Now I've only been able to get it up to level six because I ran out of copper at my main base. Uh, but I will bring some copper back. So this is for the people who said that you can do if you can hit it. Holy doodle. Okay, so it's still taking me two hits. So based on that, I'm better off to use my sledge. Uh, stone hammer. Um, the war hammer thingy. So based on that, I will continue to use it, however. I can actually do it while running, which is good. I'll just need to make sure that I bring back everything I need to upgrade it um, to use for future resource gathering. So I'm going to time lapse this. It'll be much like uh, day 39, day 38, uh, not day 39, that was a mess, uh, but day 38. And I'm going to go around the water to see if I can get some water stones on both sides of the inlet, kind of northeast part of the map. And, uh, oh, hey, wolf I killed on the way back. So the northeast part of the map, I know there's a lot of water stones. There's two kind of low-lying areas on either side of the inlet. Uh, you can swim across the inlet, it is short enough depending on the area of the inlet you're trying to swim across. I'm just going to stop at the new base and drop stuff off. And uh, yeah, so we'll put some music on. And I am trying to find uh, some other songs. It's just some of the songs are on the YouTube audio library are uh, not to my liking. Uh, <laughs> the most polite way to put it. And uh, so I'm trying to find ones that you know I like, and you know there's hundreds, if not thousands, of songs on there, and you know trying to wade through and find ones that you like to put on here or, takes a little bit of time. So uh, I will see if I can add find some different music, but meanwhile we'll go with the music uh, we've got for now, and as I can add on in new music, I will. So I hope you enjoy it, and cheers.
Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> well, I've not had that happen.
Okay, that way over there uh, leads to a very good up to the top of that mountain. And then there's another peak. And you actually go off the edge of the map over here where you disappear. There's the bridge. This part, you're not even on the map. And when I've done that area before, the zombie daytime spawns don't find you, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't have time to do that uh, today uh, for the simple fact that it's already 1400 and my base is a lot further away. When I did this area previously, um, my base was right here. So it made it really easy to just swim across and get to this area by about you know, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, in fact, I believe I have a video on that. I can't tell you what day it is or what video it is. It's from my normal playthrough. Probably sometime uh, in amongst the 30s uh, to 40s. I remember the video because I talked about the idea that I didn't want to build on uneven ground and I prefer to build on even ground. Uh, first time I kind of talked about my philosophy to building bases and for me I want to control the elevation changes. Uh, I don't want to be dictated by what I can and can't do on a base uh, regardless of the game that I'm playing. So, yeah, and I'm talking about it again in the exact same area. So we are, uh, here's the hangar and the motel. So we're going to go up here and work our way back in through this area, uh, which will be really good loot again. There's another mountain peak up here. Uh, I find that the closer you get to the peaks in these areas, the better... Um, iron ore deposits you get. Uh, unfortunately also the more bears and wolves you get and I apologize Sat Kiwi if I uh, oh, my apologies. Uh, so yeah Sat Kiwi if uh, more bears come and get me and more wolves come and get me I'm only defending myself. I really don't need their meat or their pelts. Uh, so, the only ones, animals I would be killing right now are ones that would be worthwhile to me. Such as the boar, uh, because it gives me the pig's feet, which allows me to get an extra um, point on the day as well as gives me 75 extra health, which when I'm low is a huge boost, uh, as well as the good meat, uh, which gives me the ability to make the sausage, and the sausage gives me 75 health as well. Well, actually more because I'm specced into it, so I think it gives me 50% more. So, yeah, that's the only reason why otherwise I really don't need I've got enough meat to make large traps for pretty much ever. So, where are we? Okay, so we're gonna head up and uh, I will see you back at the base. Cheers.
So I hope you see coming up to the base. And if I did have it. I have it lit. I was planning on doing the wave and at about 23.30 I'm like, yeah, this isn't gonna work. I need to head back to the old base. So there was a mad panic dash to get back to the old base, so. So 323 iron ingots. So let's do a little bit of upgrading. Um, so I changed the way the base works. Those are all upgraded. I have the flamethrower in. Everything was in place to. Just kind of like, yeah, I don't think I can do it. I don't think it's going to work. Not the way I wanted. Okay, so that's this platform. Everything fully uploaded. Upgraded. I really don't want to keep upgrading, up, reloading these things for one. So the interesting thing on these bases, as long as there's one peg in, it'll float. So if this peg gets taken out, that's still being kept up from there and this, excuse me, is being kept up from there. So um, it won't fall. That's why I, you know, I wasn't really concerned about whether the base would fall. That wasn't really an issue. It's more so what the concern was is I didn't have a path for them to get off of here, the roof below. So without that path to get off the roof, they were going to mill around down there without having a specific place to go to mill around, such as the start of a path. So you can see that all the bridges were upgraded there. Oh, I gotta do the pegs down there too, columns. So if I can get all of these columns upgraded. So I have you know, traps everywhere I need traps. Almost everywhere. It would have worked. Traps weren't the concern. They even had 
traps up around the uh, two guillotines around the uh, what's that thing? No, that's where the bait trap was going to be. Oh, okay. So I'm missing nails. So I still need some more nails because I have to do that in this as well as those and these ones here. So this is my way of getting up. I'm a little concerned by it, um, whether the zombies will jump across that path. They haven't done it at any of the other bases I've done recently. Um, they did it a little bit on Red Base 104, on Wave 104, but they've never done it in this world. Whoa, that was a weird save. Um, so instead of having to run all the way around, now I can just come up here. And I have my standard way up. Oh, thanks. Thank you to uh, John Boy. I think that's J O M B O Y, uh, who informed me that in order to upgrade, I just have to hit T twice. Uh, it's a big savings in terms of time. So, thank you very much for that uh, pointer. I love shortcut keys. Anything that can save me time in terms of producing uh, anything. Uh, whether it be in a game or at work or whatever it is, I love shortcut keys on in programs and on jobs. So this I need iron plate. Okay. That's iron plate as well as So I even had that wall upgraded. Um, as I'd said, I was leaving that wall in. I had the stairs taken down there. Oh, here comes a daytime wave. There we go. That's it. Base is oops. Missed that one. This had just repaired it. So yeah, I had the stairs taken down there. So it was ready to go. There's also a wooden one down there. Now I could destroy them. But I thought it might look a little cooler if they burn during wave night. So I still have to put in so yeah, you can see I've got lights up everywhere. It was ready to go. So I have a floor, a bridge to put in here. There we go. To close that off. Um, the idea is that if I put a bridge here as well, I can watch them come up and around and back into here. So the idea is that somewhere right down there is where I'm going to have the bridge to the path start back up and the reason I'm going to have it start back up there is so that I can actually target them with incinerary devices and we can stand way out on top of this now I think I need to put some lights down here uh, those particularly on those columns down there and maybe on the outside of this I don't doesn't look like I have any lights there no I don't have any lights on this side here that you can kind of see uh, there so yeah so that's looking pretty good now I just got to figure out how to uh, build down okay 
I don't really need this stuff in that form. Oops. There. There's that. Oh, I'm going to bring back some of this. I will eventually need this again. However, eventually, is it tonight? I will need... I'm taking this back so that I can upgrade tools and weapons back there because that's all I'll need. Um, yeah. So what I'm thinking I think I've discovered a way that I can build down. I wonder if I should put columns in front of this if it's going to be a possibility that they might uh, I know where I can build from and I'll make it easier oh shoot Baka I need lumber and rope see if I can quickly do some building here. I know I can get back to the base if it's 2300. It is lumber, right? Lumber. So here's where it becomes tricky. Building up isn't a problem. Building down, however, a little more tricky. I will be very disappointed when they remove this from the game. And they will remove it. They just have other things they're working on.
Okay, so now it's 23. Okay, there's a good start. So we'll take it down from here. I still think I need to go one more lower. Yeah, and they'll join up here. Nice. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I think I can do the stairs straight from there. Sweet, I have got that done. Excellent, okay, let's leave it here. Let me get back to the other base and we'll do the wave 41 there and then we'll come back and we'll upgrade this and who knows, we may be in a day earlier. Sweet, thank you very much. Have a wonderful uh, day, a wonderful evening. wonderful night depending on where you are and what time of day you are watching this. Cheers!